Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and a big welcome to a bunch of new subscribers we've got lately. Uh, I think we're nearly at 13,000 now, which is just mind blowing. So we thought that it was about time we did a sort of update video just to kind of bring you up to speed on what's going on and uh, help answer a few questions that we seem to get. The most recent build video that we did was about the side plating and the footage for that was uh, I think April 2018 just to kind of give you an idea of you know the time scale of things. After the side plating we built the deck structures so that's the pilot house, the coach roof, the cockpit and uh, put all the deck plating on and then there was the keel and we kind of then got to the radius plates and for anyone who watched the previous update video we kind of explained how we'd had some issues with the shape uh, 8 out of the 20 radius plates really didn't fit very well and we weren't sure what was going on and in the last update video we kind of talked about the fact we'd received a set of replacements and those didn't fit and we weren't sure what was going on and since that video, quite a lot has changed. Uh, the big one is that Chloe and I moved to Wales. Uh, we both got jobs here. This is actually where I work. When we first started the project, this was actually one of the places that we were considering building the boat. Uh, it's near where Chloe grew up, and so a lot of her family live around the area. And uh, there's a boatyard about three miles away from our house, which obviously works out really well. Uh, and for a few reasons, we decided to build in Kent. And you know, now with all this kind of delays going on with the boat we decided that that we ought to just make the move here and so we now live 300 miles away from the boat which you can understand has issues of its own so the plan kind of became that that once we got the replacement parts we go down to the boat yard get the boat in a sort of movable state where we could drive it the 300 miles over land and bring it here to a boat yard that's about three miles away from our house and about two weeks after I started work here, we actually received a second set of replacement radius plates. So I went down to the boatyard that weekend, drove back to Kent where the boat is, and test fit two out of the eight radius plates that we got as replacements. And those seem to fit well. So the good news is that we think we have radius plates that, that will work. The bad news is that since then we haven't actually made any more progress. And there are a few reasons for that. Firstly, it's been winter. Uh, we received those radius plates in September, August, September, and the weather this last winter has just been constant rain. So trying to organize a weekend that was favorable weather and we could go down and do a bit of work was difficult. On top of that, our van then broke down. Um, we essentially had some injector issues and then the injectors were all seized inside the head. And anyway, long complicated story, that van's dead. And so we're kind of looking at getting a new one. And then on top of that now, the coronavirus. So yeah, basically we haven't made any progress. We still plan to get the boat kind of finished as a kit down there and then move it up here to Wales. In the meantime, you can actually see one of the projects we've been working on just behind me here. This is our 12 foot aluminium tender and we'll be making videos and releasing them sort of fairly soon about the build of this. So the plan moving forward is that as we can, we will go down to Kent and get the kit finished. That's all the kind of steel work that came as part of the kit. And then once that's welded up, we'll move it here to Wales and then be able to kind of move forward with the build. In the meantime, we've got some build videos for you. Uh, so next up is going to be the video about the pilot house, cockpit, coach roof and the deck plating. Hope that this has answered a few of the questions that are out there and uh, yeah, we'll see you again in the next video. Oh, finished.